Hi, Michael. Um, the first album you, you <coughs> bought was uh, the Beatle Red album. Kind of, yeah. yeah. What was your favorite song on it? Actually, All My Lovin' and... Well, She Loves You. Please, please me, took me some time. First I thought it was too cheesy, but actually it's a good thing. No, but it's, it's All My Lovin' and uh, She Loves You. I wanna hold your hand. It's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. And good um, it's, uh, what, what, what makes those songs special for you? Oh, well, it was the drive, it was the groove they did, and, well, you know, they have just a few clang-clang guitars, you know, but they make it work somehow. And what they have were the choirs, which I always envied, you know. I've always been afraid singing in choirs, or maybe, like, my, my, my tonal understanding of things for choirs, you know, was not good early enough. By that time, you know, in... In music at school, you know, I had real bad marks because uh, the teacher told us at the piano, well, this is the, 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 the bass tone and this is a, a second and a prime and a, and a third and whatever. And I was like, huh? Uh, but that was basically that time, you know. And so at least you, you got to know that a little bit. So later on you can apply it in your music, actually. And... Those were the things that, that really baffled me, also particularly because it was just everywhere. No? And then later on there were things like Good Day Sunshine or something. It's just like you, you just got to think of something like that. Whereas Paul McCartney actually said, admitted or whatever way you want to put it, that he doesn't think that those melodies came to him by himself. He always refers to like God or some entity that has given him all those melodies each time. And do, Which, you, do you believe that? Um, I'm not so sure. I think there's, uh, there's a point to it or there's some kind of pool somewhere that you've got to listen to. You've got to be able to, to, to receive those ideas that are hanging. In Germany we have a saying that's called uh, heaven or the sky is full of violence. That means when the weather is nice, you're in love and everything is fine. But maybe there's some truth to it. Maybe there is something that creates melodies or whatever, because I've often had it, you know, that I had an idea and I, I recorded it, did it and whatever. And just a week later or two weeks later, for instance, Prince or somebody, whoever, would come out with exactly the same melody. What? And so that strikes me, yeah? So I think there must be something somewhere, like some kind of storage, where all this is accumulated. Maybe, I don't know. What is, what is then, what song, maybe you, you were saying, someone else a few, legs, a few weeks later released it, the yeah. melody? What yeah. song? Do, 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 do you have an example of a song that maybe someone released that you thought, hey, I, I've written that too? Mm, not quite. But this Let Me Entertain You of, of uh, Robbie Williams, for instance. I had, uh, I had a demo unfinished with anything, just one groove there, which was called Let Me Entertain You. And this was like half a year later, three quarters of a year later, he came with that song, Let Me Entertain You. And was the song music-wise similar? Or? No, or not at different? all. Okay, but but just it just had the, the same or? impact. But whatever, just the words, let me entertain you. I'm, I'm just a stupid German, you know. I sit somewhere and I come up with a track like, let me entertain you. First of all, you think, do you really say that in English? Could be wrong. You know? And then you leave it aside for some while because you're not quite sure. And then Robbie Williams comes and does something like, let me entertain you. And it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm pretty sure my song wouldn't have been as good as his. Okay. Yeah? Because it's different. It wasn't the same basic idea.